Event number 14 sees us in Italy on the stunning island of Sardinia for the Italian challenge presented by Cashback World at the Ismolas Resort. Scotland Chris Doak was five under through his first seven holes, but a couple of bogeys coming in and a slow following nine holes saw him sign for a 67, four under par. Alongside him is Francis Antoine Rosner. The 25-year-old is currently 34th in the standings and he didn't drop a single shot all day while still being able to show off his short game control. Shot of the day for the home support is Filippo Bergamaschi. The Italian holding for a birdie here on the par three third to eventually finish the day at minus four. Last week, England's Jack Senior won a qualification spot for the Open next week in Carnoustie and he's clearly riding a wave of confidence at the moment as he's at five under par. Jack Singh Bra is 21st in the rankings and has only missed one cut all season. Had this birdie attempt dropped on the ninth, he would have signed for a 64, but not to be, he's at six under. Alongside him is the tall Norwegian Erik Targa Johansson. He hasn't missed a cut all season, but he's wanting to perform more consistently over the weekends. Only one drop shot today as he sits in a tie for third place. But there's two tied at the top of the leaderboard after day one. Spain's Mario Galliano Aguilar after he shot a 64, seven under. and Sebastian Soderberg. The Swede didn't drop a shot all day, showing how control he is with the course here on the par 4 17th. 11th on the rankings, he's hoping to move up further with a good result this week. Just a couple of other notees in Christopher Blumstrand, who's at five under after a blemish free 66. And 13 people in total, including Linard and Moronk, a further shot back at minus four. Day two at Ismolas Golf Resort in Sardinia for the Italian Challenge, where the players were greeted with sweltering conditions well into the mid-30s. Staying cool under pressure was Anthony Michael, the South African with a very tidy par save on the 11th, but he ended the day at four under par. England's Jack Singh Bra started the day at six under, but was one over par through his opening six holes until he reached the par five 16th. This fantastically judged approach, putting him to just 10 feet away. He converted for an eagle, which put him back on track, although a bumpy following nine saw him finish level par for the day, six under par in total. Another on that number is Francis Joel Stolter, the 2016 Challenge Tour graduate. He's fighting hard to get back onto the European Tour, and after today's round of four under, he's another at minus six. Rory McGee has changed his putting style recently to look at the hole through his whole swing. It appears to be working for the tall Irishman as he followed up Thursday's round of four under with a three under par 68 to sit one ahead at seven under par for the tournament. Eric Taji Johansson wasn't as settled as he was yesterday on the greens, but his approach play was. This nice shot into the par three 14th, a highlight, even though the birdie putt wasn't converted. He finished the day at eight under par. The trend of tall players goes on with a round of the day going to Sweden's Niklas Lemka. A stunning seven under par 64, even with a drop shot, moves him up 30 places to second spot on nine under. But still at the top after day two is Sebastian Soderberg, who described today as his hottest ever on the golf course. He was keeping calm under pressure, and while he wasn't able to follow up his 64 yesterday with another low score, the 67 sees him too clear at the top. Jack Senior joins Lemka in second spot at nine under, while further down, Antia Hocus, Jose Felipe Lima and Victor Perez are alongside McGee in fifth. Moving day in Sardinia for the Italian challenge presented by Cashback World. Sweden's Sebastian Soderberg led by two from Jack Senior and Nicholas Lemka. Fast out of the blocks though was Adrianaus, 14th in the rankings. 
The 24-year-old started the day at three under par, but a bogey-free 64 saw him set the clubhouse lead early on at minus 10. Sweden's Lemke had a very mixed round after his 64 yesterday, out in 34 and back in 37. A frustrating day saw him shoot a level past 71 to stay at minus nine. Victor Perez had his best front nine of the week, out in 30, including this birdie on nine, which helped him climb up the leaderboard to minus 10. It was starting to be a real battle for who could catch him in the final group between Senior and Soderberg. As they reached the turn, both made birdies on the ninth and both were now 11 under par. But there was another Spaniard coming through the field. Emilio Quatero Blanco had this for a 63 on the last. Ever so close, but he would sign for a 64 and set the clubhouse lead at 12 under. Soderberg struggled even more on his back nine. He did have this birdie on the last for a level past 71 to stay within one of Quatero Blanco. And after missing two birdie putts on 16 and 17, Jack Senior had this to move to 12 under. So it's a Spaniard who sits one clear at the top. Denmark's Mark Flint Hastrup had a 66 to move up to fourth with Perez and Arnaus. And eight players are tied at minus nine. The final day of the Italian challenge presented by Cashback World. And with the Sardinian sun beating down, Emilio Quatera Blanco looked to build on the lead he held coming into the final round. And that he did, the Spaniard coming this close to an eagle on the first. Sebastian Soderberg sits 11th on the road to Ras Al Kamar and after shooting a 64 looked to end the week just as strong. Rory McGee didn't have the best of moving days but a final round 8 under par 63 boosted the Irishman up to a tied 4th place finish. Jack Senior has the Open to look forward to next week but the Englishman wasn't looking too far forward. Two early birdies launching a final round 68 to also tie him for fourth place. Chris Venturas had an interesting path to the challenge tour. In only his second event, the Norwegian ace has a top 10 finish and today nearly an eagle here on the 16th. Another Norwegian also dominated today though. Joint low rounds of the week, an eight under 63 from Eric Taji Johansson saw the Scandinavian push the eventual winner down the stretch. But the main battle came in the final group. Sebastian Soderberg, still chasing a second challenge to a title, looked to strengthen his bid with his birdie on the 13th. Round three leader Emilio Quatera Blanco was beginning to feel the pressure from the Swede. A poor first chip, meaning the Spaniard needed to hold this second attempt to save par. Soderberg tightened his grip even further on the title with three birdies to start the back nine. And this birdie on 17 all but sealed the Swede's second title. But it was Blanco who couldn't hold his lead. And despite pressure from Johansson, Sebastian Soderberg claimed his second title on the Challenge Tour, bumping into the top three on the road to Ras Al Kamar. Ross McGowan shot a fabulous six under to jump up the leaderboard. Michael Hoey joined Chris Ventura and Gavin Moynihan to shoot four under and share seventh. Uh, exhausted. Uh, it was a struggle there out there to just keep focused, um, which kind of helped. I was so focused on drinking enough, eating, walking with a wet towel. So I actually had to think about what score I was at towards the end because I just wanted to get in and I just played some really nice golf today. And I, uh, yeah, it feels amazing. Soderberg a winner in the Sardinian Sun. Next week, the Challenge Tour returns to France for the Vadre Golf Challenge.